Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 4. Last episode, we've had some big changes yeah. happening. One of which was Jesse has broken up his relationship thanks to a bit of a... Heisenberg. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a sneaky manipulation, I think, on Walter's behalf. You know, he, he knew what he was playing at. It is frustrating because I feel like in Walter's eyes, everyone has to be isolated other than him. He can have his family. He can have it all. And he's so oblivious to the fact that Skylar is really scared of him. Doesn't, or maybe he's not oblivious. I think he just like doesn't care. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird because he does feel like such a smart guy. At least for the first four seasons, he still felt like him. He feels like someone else entirely now. Yeah, he feels like he's he's really elevated his ego by everyone else now, and he's living in his own fairyland. You know what's interesting? It's like he has become each of his villains. Like, he's literally capped it at that. He's mirrored them once he's killed them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It definitely just feels like Walter is almost a shell of his former self now. Mm. He's a lot less recognisable. The... A shell of his former self or he's literally shedded the shell of himself to yeah. become who he was when we saw him in the flashbacks. Yeah, well, whatever it is, it just doesn't feel like even when he's around as a husband or a father or a friend, there's always a feeling of some degree of genuineness. Yeah, he had yeah. plans. Yeah, he was manipulative, but he had a degree of genuineness. Whereas now, it's like every sentence has an alter alternate meaning mm. or, a, or a subtle plan of his or, you know, I just, I don't know. Even when Mike and that girl, I don't remember her name... He was going to kill that girl. Yeah. Uh, she wasn't saying anything. She was just saying I, it is what it is. But I feel like going back in hindsight, when Walter was saying, you know, with the business still, like if you want to be part of the trio business, just sleep in it, reconsider. He was confident. And so I... Yeah. Well, he banked on, he banked on understanding that the workings of Gus's enterprise meant that and the police investigation meant that whatever security net that Mike had set up was most likely going to going to fall through, and that would cause desperation. He and he's smart enough to figure that out. Yes, but do you feel like Walter had some kind of play in that girl yeah. wanting? To I don't think Walter had any reason to know who she was. Okay, they never met. That's true. That's so true. So I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. No. Okay. Now we should mention this is a little bit on the side, but we probably have. I don't know, we've rambled on a lot about this particular subject and we recently, with our Patreon comments, were, again, just being squared up on things that we were a bit, you know, I don't know, a bit slow on, I guess. The voice that warned Hank was Gus or someone in Gus's, you know... It was Gus. Enterprise. Well, Gus called the shot. We don't know, I don't know if you know if it was his voice. Yeah, right, right. But he had somebody do it. We really figured that out. I know. There's the scene, what was the scene that we watched back... When they were having the negotiations um, with, Walter, with Walter, and Walter understood Gus's plan, and he pretty much like spells it out. And when, when that happened, we, in the reaction, I'm pretty sure we were like, yeah. "Oh my god, Gus!" And then yeah. something happened because that was the last recording for that day. And then by the next week, we'd forgotten that we'd gotten our answer. So then, for the next like however many episodes, probably like almost a, a, a well, actually, it's been freaking. Ages. It been? It's been yeah. ages. But you know what I think it is as well? It wasn't explicitly confirmed. So maybe that's why we got confused. I don't know. I don't know. Looking back, I yeah. feel like we, we got it then. Yeah, we did. But we didn't solidify the memory. No. And then we've spent the whole other season just talking about who it could be. Is that still going to come up? And everyone's just like face palming. I know. So yeah, that's our recognition, guys. We uh, we messed up, but we do now know that we've got the answer. That's right. We can't get it all. Kind of I can, but yeah. No, no, no. I can. <laughs> Settle down. We also had Walter give Jesse a bit of a analogy on the fact that he understood now why Gus killed Victor Ugh. and why he went about it. That he, you know, he thought initially it was a message to scare them, but now he thinks it was because that employee overstepped or stepped out of their bounds. It was and a message to Mark, essentially. Who knows? So I wonder now, if, you know, that's sort of obviously insinuating that Walter. He's making his subtle threats or plays against Mike. 
because we know they're not seeing eye to eye and Mike very much is his mm. own man, can't be belittled by Walter. Yeah. And that's obviously going to be threatening to someone like Walter who wants complete control of the Enterprise. I mean, knowing Gus, it was a message to all because he likes to kill two birds with one stone. He's that kind of guy. But you're right. So ugh, I'm kind of scared for... I did say last season they're going to have to kill Mike. I thought it was going to have to be to get to Gus, but I still feel like that's going to be the way. Yeah. Yeah, I, I said that too. I agree. I do think that Mike will probably have to be killed by the end of this to really show just how far Walter's fallen. You know, almost have no one left. Like anyone that ever got in his way died. And poor Jesse has just gotten caught up in this. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, the business is heating up. They're not seeing eye to eye. It's just going to get more and more murky from here. They've got this new business idea now where they're doing like the pest control, yeah. moving from house to house. Oh, so I can definitely see how that can go wrong. It's all getting interesting, but honestly, I'm I'm really enjoying season five. There's just each episode has so much in it and it is moving now at a pace where the combination of four seasons has just yeah. all come to this and it's really rolling and I'm having really fun with the last season. I'm having really fun with the last season. Yeah, I don't know what kind of English that was, but I'm having a lot of fun with the last season is what I meant to say. Thank you everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. CB shaft, boots, joints, axle, replaced all of it, no way around it. This thing has survived so many things. Swapped out your air filter, topped off your fluids. Didn't have to replace the windshield this time. <laughs> I can't that even... damn windshield. People like to joke, but I really, really like this car. She's sturdy as all hell. I'm betting you get another 200,000 miles out of it. I'm <laughs> in love with the car. I don't know, but I just feel like, oh, something's wrong. Walter just seems dead. The Heisenberg hat. Hey, Benny. What would you give me for it? He wants to get a Heisenberg car. A Heisenberg car? You give me 50 bucks and she's all yours. Fifty dollars. Really? Oh, it's the hat. Fifty bucks? Are you crazy? <laughs> he's for the Heisenberg hat, and he's like, you know what? I need an upgrade. Now he's wearing it in public. Yeah, isn't that interesting? <sighs> and in front of his son. Oh, that's uh. Oh, Paul Junior. Oh, what the hell is this car? Yeah, now that is a that is such a Walter car. Of course. I was about to say too, it's about time. He has to fin finish the show with a good car. It would suit his ego perfectly. So he sold the other one for 50 bucks because he really didn't care. And then I wonder how much he spent on this. He bought his son back the car. Oh no. Scarlet ain't gonna be happy. Oh, shit. He loves it, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> this season ain't gonna end well. Oh, Walter, you funny man. Oh, Lydia is her name. Yeah. I love that Russian accent. <laughs> No, hang on. It's not. It's German. German. This is a heads up. You got visitors. Visitors? What? You mean today? I mean 30 seconds. Who? Surely oh, not. The police or something. Come in. It's Rodart Quail. Big bad hanky boy. Mike's really on the ball. Oh, have they caught on to the ingredient, the chemicals that she's been laundering for them? Why are they looking at each other? No way. 
No way. Just to save her own skin. What a snake. Is he her fall guy or something? That's sickening. They got Ron. Ron's done. Okay. So he was part of the operations, I'm pretty sure. Ron was my guy. Remember, I don't have a guy anymore. Ron fixed security and pulled the barrels and drove the truck. You can't expect me to do that stuff. I mean. Oh, shit. She's gonna have to. I'll send a new guy. No way. Just like that, Ron's gone. Poor Ronnie boy. There's no room for your car, Skylar. Oh. <laughs> I want to see if she's going to stay silent or if she's going to like crack it. And listen, one more factor that you're not thinking about. The experience of the driver. And please, I totally got please. you there. You, I got dri you. you drive like a geezer. Oh, I, really? Uh, like a geezer? <laughs> <laughs> it is nice seeing them excited even though... It's at the cost of everything else. This is probably the only relationship that's gone better from this. Because he's oblivious. People will just chalk that up as me being a softie. No, no, they won't. Where are you getting this money? I didn't actually buy either one. They're both leases, so it all fits our story. Okay. Okay. Yeah, not bad. I'm trying to figure out Skylar right now. Yeah, she's intriguing. We can afford it now. You're back at it. Well, yeah. We have to make up that 600000 we lost. There's always oh, a reason. The 600000 that you gave to Ted. What do you think about boarding school? Boarding school? For who? For Junior? She wants to keep him away from all this bullshit. Someone's going to save the family from the man that saved the family. A new environment might be good for them. What does that mean? Mate. So oblivious. What's wrong with their environment? Nothing. Walter, you're a smart guy. Is he that oblivious? No, he's not. Listen, I know these last few weeks have been rough. I'm a threat to Hank and this whole thing with Benneke. But there's absolutely nothing for you to be afraid of anymore. Okay. Tell me he's not chalking it up to that. He's chalking it up all to that. He doesn't realize at all that it's him. Oh my god. I think you know, a little celebration might be good. Oh no. For all of us. You know, a, a birthday party. That's the last thing that she would want. Well, the last party he did, he had that drunk fit, remember? With Hank. Yeah, but that wasn't his birthday. Was it? It was a celebration for him getting better, but there's still a party, is the point. Hey, Mom, you forgot something. Dad's bacon? That's oh, okay, I can do it. No, no, Mom, Mom has to. Oh my god. Well, it is sort of a tradition. The 51? <laughs> With the bacon? Or the veggie bacon? No, not the veggie bacon. <laughs> oh, it's today's birthday, right? Yeah. What is she doing? Huh. Half ass effort. That's a pretty small one. Kind of is. Just a little. Ah, um, now you're talking. No. Good move. <laughs> <laughs> well, Junior, you should have shut up, dude. Six feet under and half a face, he's still screwing with us. So, what's next? I don't know. They've got Hector Salamanca there. Eladio. Mark, they got everyone. Shit. What about that uh, Lydia, what's her name? You know, Lady Banjo Eyes at the warehouse. In this world? No way. Two up tight, two together. In this world. In this world. She was wearing mismatched shoes. How together can she be? Oh. Hank, shit. I love you. I genuinely do. Matt is sharp. None of Fring's crew was talking to us. I mean, not a peep, no matter how hard we squeeze, which makes it likely there's somebody out there keeping them in line. Our money is on, on this guy, Michael Ehrman Trout. Oh, yeah, true. They're on the money, dude. Hank's great. The other thing is, um, 
and this may be unrelated, but the blue meth is uh, it's making a bit of a comeback. Tone them. Yeah, some small amounts on the street side pools. Oh, God. Could be somebody's rebooting, using uh, Fring's former cooks to set up a new operation. Thought we had Fring's cooks. The yeah, unsubs in the lab fire. Yeah, no, you definitely don't. This chase between Hank and Walter has been fantastic. I know. Hank, I gotta say, your work here has been stellar. Really first rate. Okay, so you better not shit talk her right now. So much so that I'm wondering if it's time you made a change. You know I have to get back to El Paso. This office needs an ASAC. Oh, he'll become the head. Oh, wow. If you were to put in an application, and I recommend that you do, you will get the job. I have no doubt this DO would be well served with you at the helm. Does he want it? Not if he gets him off this case. I should be overseeing every case in the office, so you need to reassign all your day-to-days, Fring included. Oh, no, he won't want that. Considering my wife would murder me if I said no. <laughs> yeah. But what? Really? I didn't think you would say yes. Me neither. Interesting, okay. I, I don't think he'll take it in the end. I'm sure he'll still work on the case. Can you, uh... Finish up for me. It's it's my birthday. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I probably have a birthday party waiting for me. You know. So. I don't think so, love. In a way, I still I feel bad for him because he's so oblivious and he's still. <laughs> yeah, nah. The way at work, he's like, you know, it, it, it's my birthday. Like, not like no one cared, you know. Like. <laughs> well, he's the reason no one cares. I know he's made his bed, but I. The reality is Walter. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, where's the surprise party? So, what's the plan? Um, Hank and Maria are on their way. Uh, roast chicken and potatoes for dinner. Rocky Road for dessert. And uh, chocolate cake. I mean, that's decent. So she's doing something, but he wanted a big blow yeah, party. Yeah, of course he did. Been moping around the last few days. All right. To do with what Walter told her about Skylar cheating, I think. I made a promise to someone. To who? Tell me that is the unraveling of everything. Your brother in law. Are you going to give me a hint? It involves infidelity. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's all. Well, I mean, I didn't know it, but I've been saying it forever. False second cell phone. Sorry, babe, but I was way ahead of you on this one. He thinks it's Walter, not Skylar. Oh, no, he was going to take the bait. Well, it wasn't Walt. <laughs> Skylar? <laughs> oh, this side of the loop with those two. I know. See Hank's face? I know. Hell of a couple of cars there, Walt. Honey, for my next birthday, I'm going to take a page here from Walt and buy myself a jet plane. <laughs> <laughs> With these new lease rates, I mean, they're mighty attractive. Yeah, yeah. Scott looks dead. Oh, dude, it's the big elephant in the room. Do you know that uh, almost Exactly a year ago that I got my diagnosis. Oh my god, Holy don't bring shit. that up. A year? How much has changed since then? Wow. I know. I think I was too scared or too angry or I don't know. She's going to go into the pool with clothes. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, there were times when I was sure I was done for. I feel like he's talking not about them, but more about his alter ego, like himself, I don't know. And Skylar, I can't get that. Honey, remember that first week of chemotherapy? That night on the bathroom floor? Oh, I feel so bad for Skylar, man. Yeah, this is really awkward. What's she looking at in the pool? Surely she's not thinking about trying to drown herself or something. Ooh, hey -ho, pool party. What are you doing, Skylar? Is she going to look at the vent or something? 
Because they were focusing in on that before. I'm telling you, she looks like she wants to drown. Holy shit. I thought I was being far-fetched when I called it, but I called it. What is she trying to do? She die. Is she sure? smiling? Oh my god. Oh wow, that that yeah, that's got that's, a lot darker. Yeah, very dark. Fuck, I feel so sorry for her, man. When I made the call, I thought I was doing one of those ones where everyone was to laugh at me being far fetched. No, no, I believed it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I want to see the comments. Hey. Oh my god, he's the new guy. Oh my god. Out there, number two two three five six. That's the one I raised from the inventory, so it has to be that one. Can you reach it? Like a forklift. Jess has become so versatile. He does so many jobs now. What's happened? What? Please tell me that's not what I think it is. What is it? Have they marked it or something? I don't get it. Was it the tracking device? I don't know. No. Because it Garmin. It was like a little device. I don't know. She and I have been having some issues. Yeah, bring up the cheating. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 uh, I might have heard a little bit about that. I mean, hey, look, Marie didn't go into detail. She just, you know, said that. Walt well, knows that Marie can't shut her mouth. Yeah. That was that on purpose. I mean, there's uh, Marie's guy, uh, Dave. And she seems really happy with him. Not that Marie is an advertisement for advanced mental health or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hank. Hank is great, man. Love your sense of humor. What if we took the kids for a while? Took the kids? Oh, I know he's gonna not like that. Marie. This idea. Was it yours? I had that in my head. Skyler's. Oh. So Skyler's trying to get the kids away from him. Yep. Just listen. You better not crack at our house, I swear to God. They'll stop and pick up diapers along the way. I spoke oh. with Junior on the phone. They agreed to it. Well, he agreed to it. What was that about? Can you explain it? Time to speak up, Skyla. A couple weeks ago, a man was coming to this house to kill us, to murder your entire family. You were in the crawl space, screaming. That's true. This is different. Now I'm running things. So wait, now that you're in charge, it's 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 what it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. Definitely not. I keep the work at work, Skylar. And nothing will ever impact you or the kids. You don't know that. Yeah, it's very naive thinking. I can promise you that Gus Fring is dead, and he was the threat. He was the danger. I thought you were the danger. Yeah. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Good line, Skyla. There's blood on my hands, too. What blood? Panicky? He's in the hospital because of me. Yeah, imagine the guilt. It's just eating her alive. You made a mistake and things got out of control, but you did what you had to do to protect your family, and I'm sorry. That doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you a human being. Stop it, Walt. Just stop. He definitely has to believe that. I'm compromised, but I won't. I will not have my children living in a house where dealing drugs and hurting people and killing people is shrugged off as shit happens. Oh, oh shit. yes, yes, a lot. Find that in the law. I will not let our business endanger them. How many times Aww. do I have to say that That's they are not? I said in no. I swear to God, I won't have them back here. Oh wow, she's really putting her foot down. What are you gonna do to stop it? Whatever it takes. Oh shit. Maybe I show up with bruises on my neck. Give myself a black eye. Say that you beat me when you found out about my lover. Good plan. Oh uh, well, that'll be fun bringing the police up to speed on all of that, but not as much fun as telling your 16 year old son that his father is a wife beater. Oh my God. Do you have any other ideas? Because right, I'm, I'm not hearing a solution to your uh, problem. 
I feel for Skyler here. This is rough. This is a joke. Come on, Skyler. You want to take me on? You want to take away my children? What's the plan? I don't know. This is so terrifying. This is the best I could come up with, okay? I, I will count every minute that the kids are away from here, away from you, as a victory. Away from you. Wow. I don't have any of your magic, Walt. I don't know what to do. I'm a coward. I wouldn't say that. I can't go to the police. I can't stop laundering your money. I can't keep you out of this house. I can't even keep you out of my bed. Yeah, she doesn't. Wake up call. All I can do is wait. That's it. That's the only good option. Hold on. Bide my time. And wait. Jesus. Wait what are you waiting for? For you to die. For cancer. For the cancer to come back. Oh my God, dude. That is... Yeah. Oh my god, this conversation went What was that conversation? Dark. That went dark real quick. What the fuck? That is that is so sad. Holy shit, man. Look at that. You tell me what that looks like. If the DEA's tracking our barrels, there goes our precursor connection. That was correct. Good job. Good job. Why didn't they put it inside where nobody'd see it? Look, it's inside, it gets wet these things to put under cars it can get wet okay so what's the angle here then and the other barrels they have trackers on the outside too i don't know probably you didn't check any of the other barrels ah uh, she set it up lydia you no know, once we spotted it she freaked out i put the barrel back and we fo lydia 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 so she can get out of it the person who spotted this was it you or was it her? Lydia, she saw it first. <laughs> oh, he knows all he needs to. She's dead. Wait, 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 wait. What? Lydia planted this thing, not the cops. Oh my God. I had a chance to deal with this before and I gave her a pass. It's what I get for being sexist. <laughs> it's true. You wouldn't have given a guy that pass. What if this really was the cops, you know? And what if you're wrong about her? I'm not wrong. But what if you are? Then you've just killed someone. This is a voting thing. I don't think so. I vote. It's a voting thing. Mr. White, <laughs> weigh in here, would you? What do you think? He's just staring at his hat. Who about to kill her? The methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We are not ramping down. Oh, We're shit. just getting started. Nothing stops this train. Oh my god. Oh, wow, He's the delivery. The head. Oh, hey, um, I think you said it was your, your birthday, so. Jesse, You so don't bored. do the Jesse. You do not. No. He doesn't deserve anyway. Jesse. Hey, happy birthday. Oh, man. Jesse's the most genuine of this. Of I this love Jesse so much. People hate that we love Jesse sometimes because we give him a, a pass, but he's my boy. Screw you. <laughs> I uh, stopped by Hank and Marie's. Junior is still asking what is going on. I mean, he's making a lot of this shit now. How are you? Not well. So, coming to bed? Did he not get the picture? How's he acting like nothing's. I don't know what's that. Yeah, he's a bit weird. I think he's in denial to a degree. Say that watch. It's a birthday present. The person who gave me this present wanted me dead too. Oh shit. Oh. But I turned it all around. He changed his mind about me, Skylar. And so will you. He changed his mind because you liked him, dude. I know. Not because he really wanted to. So he thinks he can manipulate events. At any time. So really, Jesse was right about everything that he was saying. That, you know, you planted... The, it just wasn't the rising. It was the bloody lily of the valley. Yeah. I think he likes the gift. It makes him... F I think he's compartmentalized. He feels like, you know what? I am a good person. He looks at the watch and the friends. And he just blocks out the rest.
It was like a gun clock in a way. It was almost like his time's up. That's what it felt like. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. That's what I do. <laughs> Can't believe that was all one episode. I know, a lot happened. I felt like a hefty episode. As much as it was set in a few basic locations, there was so much in it. Yeah. First things first. That interaction in the bedroom between Skylar and Walter was next level. It was almost like Walter was... <sighs> Honestly, I felt like I was watching an interaction between Gus and Walter back in the day. Yeah. And... Well, Skylar can't be either of them because she obviously had no plan, whereas they both always had a plan. But it was just like, you're not talking to a loved one here. You're talking to a... like It's not like it's a big business still. No, it was very dark. And it was like you're talking to an enemy. Yeah. In both, you know, both ways. I guess I sympathize with Skylar a bit more here because at this point, she's putting the family before oh, yeah. everything else, whereas Walter isn't. It's funny because he was doing all this with family and he finally, even with Gus, he still pretty much had an out. He still could have gotten away skate three, but he's going to be the end of himself in the end. What's interesting is their iconic lines in that episode where he goes, I am the danger. And then Skylar goes, someone needs to protect the family from the guy that's protecting the family. I felt like those lines were kind of brought up this episode in the sense of, you know, Skylar says, I thought you were the danger when he's saying someone else was. And it just shows that he just says things for the sake of saying things sometimes. He doesn't always fully 100% commit to it. Whereas she's committing to her line. She is protecting the family from Walter, you know? So... I think that's also like another, it's very small, but someone who's committed fully to what they believe in, whereas Walter is just forever molding and changing to suit his ideals of himself. Yeah. Well, I mean, brutal, brutal, but I get it. When she's yeah. like just waiting, waiting for the cancer to come back. That is, this all started with her distraught because her husband had cancer and they yeah. were going to lose him. They were going to spend all the money going debt because of the cancer. You could never have convinced her in a million years that in a year time, you're going to be praying for your husband's cancer to come back and kill him. That is crazy. And then his line of, I'll have you admitted into a psych ward, I assumed was the was yep. the situation. Yeah, that was just dark. Very dark for the relationship. Very brutal. It shows where they're at. And the most honest. Yeah, and the most honest. And it was nice at least to see Skylar express herself for once and... It's been a while that she's just been mute. She finally just let it out. Yeah. But I've never seen her this defeated as well in the past. Normally, she had a sense of conviction and resolve and she was confident in her ability to yeah. follow through. Whereas now she's genuinely afraid. I think she re really realizes her husband's prepared to go to lengths that she's not. And that makes her feel defeated, I guess. Yeah, well, isn't it interesting? Skylar has done... a fraction literally a fraction of what walter is capable of and has actually carried out and look at the guilt eating her up inside and she really can't handle it i mean the fact that you know ted's not even dead he's suffering which i mean i don't know in some cases that's like worse isn't it but there's still blood on her hands she's doing illegal transactions business whatever you want to call it and she is literally a shell of herself, if not less. And then yeah. Walter's thriving. Like, that really does show, you know, two people in a similar situation and how each of them are coping. Yeah, well, I guess it shows... Because deep down, we know, we saw when Walter was on the sleeping pills or the mm. whatever it was, the, the, the painkillers or whatever, yeah. with his son, that he was crying and saying, I regret all of it, you know? So deep down, there's a part of himself that resents it, but his pride, his ego is in the way and he doesn't see that in a conscious state. Yeah. So his ability to shoulder his dark side and his failures is better than Skylar's. Skylar's yeah. crumbling. Arguably, you know, he's also, it was his choice more than he was hers. But yeah, his ability to, definitely to shoulder all his failures and block it out is better. Whereas Skylar's not able to block it out the same way. She's facing it head on. She hates what she sees and, you know, it's eating her slowly. It is crazy. I do feel like the hat is a really good depiction of where he's at in both worlds. It's like 
There's a foot in one world when the hat was only worn in his business dealings with Gus and other people. Whereas now it's, he wore it with his son. He wore it in the house. He wore it in the car when he got, went to go buy his son a new, like all these places where he never would have worn it before. Yeah. I don't know, it's seeping through. But he's he's finally merging into one person. And I guess the other indication of that is that interaction they both had in that bedroom where that was a business transaction there. That wasn't just, you know, this is my wife and this is how I'm going to speak to her. It's not. Nah, it's completely merged together. Yep. And then obviously we've got Skylar, I think, attempting to drown herself or at least a cry for help of some sort. Well, I think it was a plan. Oh, it was... you're saying that, okay, you're the plan to harm herself to be able to send the kids away on their marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair enough. She wasn't fully going to drown herself. But uh, there's also a part of it that looked like, you know, if I did drown, it wouldn't be so bad either. Yeah, yeah. So it could be interpreted in a couple of ways. Heavy. Heavy. Yeah. And that's why Hank was right. He's like, she wasn't going to try to kill herself because everyone is, was here. It was obviously meant for a show. But deep down as well, she is that numb that she's like, fuck it. Like, let's just do it. Yeah. Now we've got the Lydia situation. That's interesting. They had to keep her alive, but she's trying to get out. She's, uh, is what we think. I think so. Yeah. And it's fair enough, but she's really playing with fire here. <laughs> I know. Because... I kind of believe when she goes, that's the one that I got from the inventory. That's the one we have to get. Can't be any other one. And the fact that it was so high, like, why wouldn't she? That's what I was thinking. I was like, why wouldn't she just choose a lower one from yeah, the inventory? Yeah, so you can see underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Very smart. Very smart. smart. Lydia. Hank is, I mean, he's putting it together. That drawing board he's got is very impressive. Mm -hmm. They've got all the faces, all the people all the dots and they just can't connect the dots yet. They need something to be able to verifiably connect the dots. And I think the, they're missing the, the Heisenberg on the... Well, that as well, but there's still a few other things missing. Like he said, that guy, I think he's in Germany, the one that we saw kill himself at the start. Yeah. And then, you know, all the way to Ron here in America, it's like there's something in between and Lydia is that in between. So once they get those few pieces together... It's slowly going to start trickling down. And I mean, the fact that Heisenberg is seeping through into Walter's personal life, I know, we know, I'm just going to clarify again, we know they're the same person. But um, the fact that that's seeping through as well is, I'm assuming going to give Walt, uh, Hank some kind of indication that, you know, maybe you should be looking over maybe, here. Maybe, but I really feel like it's one of those last minute things because yeah, 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 for sure. it's really under his nose. He just does not suspect Walt. Like it's the yeah. last person you suspect. Yeah. And it's crazy because he's got this massive drawing board with all these elite level, you know, hitmen and uh, drug bosses, etc. And he's got no idea that what links them all together and what's yeah. arguably right now at, at the helm of it all is his brother-in-law. The least, but the, like when, it, when, when Hank finds out, it's going to be a surreal moment. But you know what's interesting? When Hank found out that Skylar cheated, he was like, really? Skylar? Like, yeah. he could, it was like, oh, shit. I never considered that. So I feel like that's a little bit of, like, foreshadowing potentially. I think he's going to have, like, a heart attack when he finds out his fault. <laughs> I know. I know. Because that just... Because Hank's a smart guy. He goes, well, that means this. This means that. I got shot for this rate. Like, all these things. Yeah. Crazy. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. Leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe for more. And let us in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. And if you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, check out our Patreon and link down below. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you guys in our next reaction. See you guys.